I want to tell you about eruptions that have been produced in the last three days. Massive, massive pictures that are very impressive. And that used to be a super volcano. That sounds scary. So that super volcano is now the smallest active volcano in the world. And that's not the only curiosity, guys. I've reported about this volcano a few months ago. The Tal Volcano, it's the smallest active volcano in the world. It has an unexplained shape and location on an island within a lake within an island. So that makes it a unique geologic wonder. And that's why thousands of tourists come to that volcano and also geologists, volcanologists, every year. And you can imagine if you have a lake and in the middle of that lake, you have a tiny volcano. But if that volcano erupts and that mixes with water, that's always dangerous. So we've seen phreatic eruptions that are really white island style. But what it has produced today was really, really impressive with this big, big steam cloud coming out, shooting up high in the air. So that was really big. Thankfully, there's cameras. So we've seen the smaller ones that, that happened, but the one that just happened, it's really, really impressive. Guys, you have to imagine this used to be a super volcano that was once over 4,500 feet tall, 6,000 meters, a thousand times larger than Krakatoa. Krakatoa, can you imagine that? And we had ancient mega eruptions that happened at Tal. And we know after an eruption, sometimes the magma chamber collapses, the volcano collapses and forms a caldera. And in some cases, that caldera doesn't stay empty. It forms a lake. And that is what happened here at the Tal volcano. The Tal volcano is located on the Luzon Island in the Philippines. And we've just had a major phreatomagmatic eruption. And it has built up ash up to two miles up in the air today. And this volcano is now showing elevated eruptive activity. That began after a long period of dormancy in 2020. But what has just happened is a massive phreatomagmatic eruption that occurred at that crater. Dark, a dark ash plume could be seen rising up to 8,000 feet above the caldera. And we call this phreatomagmatic activity when water interacts with magma. And that leads to intense explosive reactions, as you can imagine, because this is an, basically an underwater crater. So today, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has said we had three eruptions today. One phreatic eruptions at 2.55 a.m. and then two phreatomagmatic eruptions at 8.13 a.m. and at 8.20 a.m. And alert level at the moment remains at level one. They have advised the public to avoid Volcano Island, that's how it's called, due to possible sudden explosions and gas emissions. So this could happen again. And historically, the Tal volcano had very devastating eruptions, one in 1911, in 1965, and so on. And it remains one of the most closely volcanoes in the Philippines. Problem is, its proximity to densely populated towns and villages and that, that, that are settled around the lake. And of course, the Metro Manila region. And Tal is also designated as a decade volcano. This is how some volcanoes has been named and been admitted to a program. Um, so it's one of the volcanoes that worldwide that are worthy of special study due to their extreme hazard potential. So it might be tiny. It might be funny that we say a volcano in a lake on an island and a lake. Nah, but it's dangerous. Because the current visible cone on Volcano Island within the lake is not the original entire volcano. That caldera is much larger. 
So at its summit, the volcano stands out at about 1,020 feet above sea level. Even today, that's roughly 311 meters. So it is located on an island, the island of Luzon in the Philippines, in the Batangas province. That's about 50 kilometers, roughly 31 miles south of Manila. So not far. And you cannot really walk or access the Tal volcano very close anymore um, because in 2023, the Philippine government has declared the Tal volcano to be a permanent danger zone and access to the area is currently prohibited for a reason. We all remember White Island where the tourists were on the island when this devastating phreatic eruption happened that looked similar to what Tal is producing now. So the Tal volcano, a large caldera filled with a lake, the Tal Lake, is keeping us busy, guys. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, hype and like the video. And guys, Campi Flegre is acting up. The super volcano in Naples, Italy. Highly densely populated. And now scientists got it completely wrong. Miscalculation is the word. And for decades now, people felt safe. They thought that Brady size them. It's nothing to worry about. But we have two new studies that change everything. And I really mean it. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know I report about the new studies all the time. But this one, they completely got their carbon dating wrong. And this changes everything about what the volcano did in the past and will do in the future. So guys, if you care about Italy, but maybe even Europe and the world, you need to see this. Click the video here. I see you there in a second. If you want to support the channel, click there buymeacoffee.com slash silky. You can buy me a coffee and support the channel, but do not forget that we see each other in a second. Click here.